Welcome to Stamford Bridge here in West London. And when you think of the Battle of the Bridge, you think of 2016 when Chelsea officially ended Spurs' title hopes with a 2-2 draw. Chelsea against Spurs today. Derek Ray alongside Stuart Robson here on the gantry. Stuart, what are you looking forward to seeing? Well, first of all, Derek, the atmosphere inside the stadium is incredible. And what a game we have in store for us. These two have become really fierce rivals in more recent times. And I think it's fair to say they don't like each other very much. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. And Golo Conte starts alongside Matteo Kovacic in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Well, when you see it like that, their central midfield players look a little bit isolated. But I'm expecting the two fullbacks to push up to make it more of a 3-4-3. And I think we see a lot of positional rotation in this starting 11. And the match underway here at Stamford Bridge. Well, it's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. They favoured a short one here. It comes to absolutely nothing. With that, the attack fizzles out. Conte. Mount. Cross blocked. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle. And a corner will be next. And over it comes. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Mount. This is Thiago Silva. Well, foiled by a teammate. And then offside the decision. Well, he is offside when the ball hits him. But I think the keeper had that covered anyway. Bentancourt. And they have possession again. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Will he play it in? Well, no danger now. Mount. Here's Kovacic. Havertz. It's still alive. Blocking it. Have it. Werner, the cutback. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Well, the crowd are willing them to score here. They've created so many chances.
And the short option for Fern. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. And teammates to play it to. Well, the danger is still there. And I think the threat has been averted. Thiago Silva. Kai Havertz. N'Golo Conte. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. And do they mean business on this occasion? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. There to win it back. Conte just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw in. Eric Dyer. Well, high marks for that pass. And space to cross it. Emerson. Bentancourt. Kane. He quartered the attack illegally. Now perhaps a card is forthcoming. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Well, we saw what he was trying, and it very nearly came off for him. Well, we're talking inches here. That was a really good effort. He struck the ball so well. Mount Conte Werner superbly read and executed Pavier Kane getting forward well as he hit that one it looked as though it had a chance Marcos Alonso and Mount chance to do damage Havertz Conte here's Havertz Conte and using his body to good effect Harry Kane. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Let's see about the delivery. It comes to absolutely nothing. Son. And he takes on the shot. Can they keep it out? Maybe a chance for Spurs here to take the lead from a corner.
Now sending it in. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. The cross was very much on, but not the end result they were hoping for. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball, but their attacking players lack tempo, invention and goal. Something they need to rectify quickly if they're going to win this one. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Now to the front post. Well, not the best clearance. And in the end, no damage done. And fine work from Chelsea to win the ball back. Kai Havertz. Conte. Coming them under the course. Havertz has someone to play it to. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. And Chelsea win the corner. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now. But these fans have suddenly come to life. He's driven in the corner. Well, no end product. Kovacic. Marcus Alonso. Textbook defending inside the box. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. The delivery towards the back post. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Eric Dyer. Now Harry Kane. Aspini Quetta on high alert. Mount. Here's Kovacic. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. And Chelsea have given it away. Davis. Bad pass. A Spurs free kick it's going to be. <laughs> and a change for Spurs at this juncture. Number 21, Dejan Kubasevsky, coming onto the pitch. Number 23, Stephen Bergman. Sessegnon and he read it well Kane well untidy in possession from Spurs Mount Conte has it Kai Havertz and return to Havertz they do pass the ball with authority an utterly disappointing cross goal kick <laughs> well they've decided to make a change Number eight, Mateo Kovacic, 
to be replaced by number five, Tortinio. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Jorginho. Jorginho. Here's Mount. Good effort here! Well, the keeper did his job. Didn't really have to work hard, in all honesty. And Spurs moving the ball with purpose. Sessegnon. Crossing possibilities. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. To the box it goes. Well clattered away. Fabier. Well read to put an end to that attack. And no luck keeping possession. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Bentancourt. Given away by Tottenham. Well, what a finish we've got here. Can Chelsea get this winning goal? Their fans certainly think so. Just listen to them. Can he give them the advantage? Oh, he's missed it. And he's going to be angry with himself. Well, he has to do better there. He had so much of the goal to aim for. It's a poor miss. And the substitution will occur now. Bentancourt. And return to Kane. Lukaku. Chance to do damage. Jorginho. And the ball's been given away by Lukaku. Lukaku. That was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Not a good pass. Lukaku. There's a slide draw pass, and a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil, there it is, they're in front. Yeah, here's the set-up play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And the finish is clinical. Isn't it cleanly beyond the keeper? That's a good goal. here Eric Dyer just 10 minutes to go Fabier they are making headway but really they need a goal with time not on their side but he dealt with that ball played in rather well Pressing high to win the ball. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. 
Timo Werner. On to Jorginho. Conte. What can Chelsea do from this position? Well, flinging himself at it. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. Keen to take it short here. Rudiger. Werner. Can he finish them off? Oh, splendid save. And it gives them some hope here. Not long left, though. He's driven in the corner. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. The clock is against Tottenham but they might yet bite back. Kane cuts it back. Just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. Thiago Silva. On to Jorginho. Werner. It's with Marcos Alonso. And that is full time. Chelsea have prevailed. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserved their victory. Romano Lukaku does know how to take a game by the scruff of the neck. What would be your verdict on his performance? Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.